they say she get it from her mama I'ma say you fuck her out your body Do this bump like a dummy in the home But come tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go good tonight I'm to holding you just left and right I just want to live in and welcome back to another team with me video listen my house is pretty much a mess okay as you saw in like in the beginning clips i don't want to call this like a depression clean because it's not that because i've seen what depression places and spaces look like and i don't want to say it's as bad as that but when I say life be life and things be happening, life be life and things be happening, okay? So that's what this is really, okay? Like, that's exactly what <laughs> my apartment looked like. Um, I really had like a bad moment this morning and I like cried and cried and cried. And then I literally got up out of my bed, looked at my apartment and said, this is a mess and I have to do something about it. So I just cleaned. I had no intention on cleaning, but sometimes when it is time to get up and clean, baby, it's time to get up and clean. So that is what we are doing and that is why I am here. So I'm starting off with my like dining room area, just cleaning off my table. My table really had became a space for storage, a space to just put things and not a space to eat because I've been eating on the floor and I shouldn't have to do that. So I decided to clean the table. And then of course I'm going into the kitchen and just cleaning, okay? Cause everything literally needs to be clean. Everything needs to be put away. It's not a deep clean or anything like that, but this is more so I need to put things away so I can do a deep clean later because literally everything was just all over the house, all over the place. And I just could not look at it anymore. All right, so if you guys did not know, I am a candle collector. I love candles. Like, anybody who knows me knows I love candles and I collect candles. That cabinet right there is full of candles. The only thing that is in that cabinet is candles. It's like 50 candles in there. I'm not even lying to y'all about how many candles is in that cabinet. But anyway, I had to empty out my dishwasher because literally the dishes has been sitting in there for like maybe six days. I don't know how long, but it's been, you know, <laughs> a while. A while, a while longer than I should admit, but... I considered like giving them a second wash, but I was like, why? They're clean. They just, just been in there, you know? So I didn't do that. But what I did do was wash a little bit of dishes I had in my sink. So I think I had like a pod and then a cup and then a blender from like the breakfast that I made this morning before I started cleaning. And, you know, after I was crying all day, but I did that and then, you know, went to phase two.
very heavy because of items being out of place and not where they're supposed to be or you know just a bunch of mess and a bunch of filth and that's what it feels like in your mind sometimes that's exactly what I experienced with this bedroom I didn't realize how bad it got I didn't realize how messy the bedroom was and I actually couldn't believe it and I was like damn I am nervous to tackle this bedroom, but I'm excited because I'm ready for it to be clean. I'm ready to have a space that feels light, that feels airy, that feels like a bedroom, that feels like a place where I can rest my head comfortably and not have to step over anything or not have to, you know, see something out of place and be like, oh, I'll put that away later. You know, I really needed my bedroom to feel as empty as it possibly could. So while I was nervous to tackle the bedroom, I was also very excited because I knew what my bedroom can become once I just cleaned up. Come enjoy the light, baby take a ride. I just wanna find you, you. Baby you and I can have a good time. Tell me what you like. Ooh. Now listen, I've been single for a while now, and I've been kind of lonely, but I'm looking for somebody to talk to, love me, someone who can hold me, is that you? I'm looking for somebody I can call, looking for the only one that I can I know I mentioned this before, but I own a lot of stuffed animals, okay? A lot. And what I've said with my stuffed animals is that they all mean something to me. Each and every one of my stuffed animals do have like a meaning to me, whether it's like how I got them or who gave it to me, what they represent. Like each stuffed animal that I have has a meaning. However, that does not mean that I am <laughs> wanting them to be on my bed. Because a lot of the times, the stuffed animals on my bed, they they don't weigh a lot. But combined, they weigh a lot and they feel like a body is next to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if <laughs> I keep the stuffed animals on a bed and if I don't, like, move them to the floor or something, they feel like a person next to me. And I'm like, why are you guys unmovable right now? Like... You guys should fall to the floor very easily and they kind of don't. But also, like, I don't want my stuffed animals on the floor. So I'm trying to find something to put them in 
so that they just don't be on the floor. And also, I just don't want like 20 stuffed animals on my bed. It is time consuming to put 20 stuffed animals on the bed all the time, every day, which is why I don't make my bed sometimes because if I make the bed, then I have to put the stuffed animals on the bed because I'm not going to leave them on the floor. Yeah. Anyway, this carpet rug thing, I either need a new one or I need to find a way to wash it because even though I'm trying to vacuum it with my little hand vacuum here, it just doesn't get the job done 100%. But I'm going to find a way to take care of it because I really need this rug to be clean to the gods, okay? Not just like semi-clean where you can't see the dirt embedded. I need the whole thing clean. So when you clean and like what's life without putting on some new bed sheets, right? Of course I had to put on new bed sheets for this clean. I really did not want to sleep on my old bed sheets. And it's been like maybe five, six days since they've been on my bed. So I was like, all right, let's get them up. Okay. Also, I didn't know that little twisty was sticking out of my head and now I'm mad as hell, but whatever. But anyway, I just go ahead and spread my bed. Like literally that is it. I don't do nothing funny. I don't do nothing cute. I don't steam nothing, okay? At least right now. When I'm feeling fancy, because I've done it once before, and it does make a little bit of difference as to the way your bed look. It does look a lot neater. But maybe today? Mm -mm, this wasn't that kind of day. Like I said, I was just putting everything away, making sure everything was like neat and proper and in its place, and that did not include a steam, okay? I'm going to be real honest with you. That did not include a steam, so that's what I did. Look at all the stuffed animals accumulating on my bed like i said i have a lot they all mean something but when i say i don't want much of any stuffed animals anymore i really don't want any more unless they are very unique but other than that you know i don't want any more stuffed animals because all my babies are so cute as is and i just want to find a nice little like home for them so they don't have to be on the floor at night When it comes to cleaning, one of the biggest products I hate taking on is the bathroom. I hate cleaning my bathroom, but this is why. I hate cleaning my bathroom because as soon as I clean it, in two days, it looks like I didn't do anything to my bathroom. That's why I hate cleaning my bathroom. But it needed to be clean, so of course we're going to do it. So first I start with the pink stuff. The pink stuff is literally the thing that everybody needs. I don't care what nobody say. It, first of all, it smells really good. It does not smell like chemical. It does not smell like cleaner. It kind of smells like maybe cotton candy i don't know cotton candy is a stretch but it does have like a very sweet um scent to it and that's why i really like using the pink stuff okay so i start with that first and that just gets up like all the dirt the grime the lime scale the whatever that is stuck on my tub that's what i go in with the pink stuff first because it really helps in getting all that stuff off next don't laugh i use my dawn dish soap i've been keeping this in the shower just to like scrub off the dirt and stuff throughout the week before it's time for like the deep clean up the bathtub the bathroom or whatever you want to call this but i use my dawn dish soap and then i also go in with some ajax or comment like same difference on top of that and literally just scrub everything off what like the pink stuff miss honestly because everything doesn't get everything you know you have to like clean once or twice maybe but i do it uh two times clean and there's my comment and i literally spray that all over and then i go ahead and start cleaning
Y'all be driving Lexus Jeeps and the Benz Jeeps and the Lincoln Jeeps Nothing cheaper, got the platinum fever What's your name? Cause I'm impressed Can you treat me good? I won't settle for less You a hot boy, a rock boy, a fun toy, total block boy Where you live? Is it by yourself? Can I move with you? Do you need some help? A cook boy, I'll give you more I'm a fly girl and I like those all right, and the last thing I gotta clean is my little vanity area. So as you can see, my little vanity is disconnected from the bathroom. You know how some bathrooms have like the sink and the tub and all in one. Uh, as you can see, this does not. So what I'm doing here is removing everything. Like why is my ring light at the vanity? Like I did that three days ago. I should have put the ring light back where it belongs, you know? But I didn't, and that's what today is for. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove everything off the top of this. And then I basically clean my vanity sink area the same way I clean the bathtub. So I start with the pink stuff and then I go ahead and throw the comment in there afterwards. Um, I didn't think it was necessary to put the Dawn dish soap here. Um, only because it's a smaller area and it's not that much that was like gunked up or you know not a lot of dirt that was on it so i didn't feel like i needed to put the dawn dish soap but i did do the pink stuff and i did do the comment for this and then you know later on down the line of course i cleaned the mirror with some windex and i called it a day but fun fact about windex so you know like when you go to the 99 cent store you can either buy like the name brand aka windex or you can buy like the off brand the 99 cent store brand that's equivalent to windex or to whatever right even like uh you know a bag of chips or something i don't know right but fun fact i realized you cannot buy the equivalent like 99 cent store brand of windex and get windex quality maybe i don't know what it is but there's an ingredient missing in the 99 cent store windex that does not do what windex does i don't know what it is but i've noticed it and it doesn't clean as well it doesn't get the the a uh, glass as shiny none of that so keep that in mind if you ever wanted to buy like windex but like an off-brand windex to try to save some a couple of dollars don't actually buy real <laughs> windex Okay, and as I told you guys, like I'm just going in with my little finishing touches of cleaning up this glass. It's very easy to clean, but sometimes it's just annoying to clean glass. Cause like, I don't know how well or how bad I'm cleaning it. And I don't have one of those like special rags, right? That cleans the glass. I just literally use a uh, paper towel. And I feel like it gets the job done for it to be clean, but I know that it can be better. You know, so if anybody has any suggestions on what I should use to clean slash wipe down the glasses with, because I do have another mirror to the side for the medicine cabinet, let me know. Because I don't have the solution, I don't have the formula, but I want the solution and the formula on how to clean said glass. She got drive and matches my drive Sexy thing She stay fly All while paying her bills on time She don't look at me like Captain Save'em Oh, they get no 
All right, so this is everything. This is the end. Yes, this is my table cleaned off. From what it looked like in the beginning, it's a really good look. This is the candle that I was telling you about that I decided to like put in the wax warmer. It smells hella good. Um, quick disclaimer: my table looks like that with the bags around it because there's no other place to put them, and I need a display case. Okay, cool. Um, this is the couch. Literally, all I'm close up off that couch. I'm so happy. Everything feels so good, so light, so airy. My bedroom. Y'all can't tell me that's not a complete transformation from what y'all saw before. My bedroom feels so good. I slept in my bedroom last night, and when I tell you, it is one of the lightest that I felt because there wasn't a lot of stuff on the floor. There wasn't no clutter, no nothing. Like, it really did feel good to sleep in that bedroom like that, and especially with the wind, like, hitting my face. Y'all, if you can, like clean you know if that is the least you can do is clean because i know a lot of times we have our days we have our weeks we have our months where our mental health is not the best our clarity is not the best but i promise you like if you just get up and clean especially when you know it's time to clean or needs to be clean just do it but this is the end and i will see you guys in the next video